Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to migrate your Drupal instance from 7 to 8, 9 or 10. So the version we are going to decide based upon the module what we are using in our Drupal 7 instance. So first, uh, so make sure you are using the latest version of Drupal 7. So if you are having Drupal 7 version like 7.1, 7.2, something like that, make sure you are going up to 7.9 so once you upgraded your drupal 7 version so while you are working on drupal 7 version make sure you are a php version also 7 version okay so don't keep it 9 and then next what you have to do you have to enable a module called upgrade status module okay so upgrade status module is available for 7 So here you can find the seven version. Download this module, enable in your Drupal instance. I already enabled that module. Let me show you that. So here you can see the upgrade status module is already enabled. So once you enable, click on this configure. And here it will show you a page where you can check all your uh, contrib module compatibilities. Okay. So here what I will recommend is that so first go and check for Drupal 10 version. So if you found lot of contrib modules are not upgraded to Drupal 10, then switch to Drupal 9, okay? And check for your contrib modules. So if uh, for sure most of the module you will have in Drupal 9 version, so you, you will not be able to uh, check for Drupal 8. In worst case only, you will be having an option to check for Drupal 8 version. So mostly you will have a module for module in Drupal 10 or if you don't have most of the module in Drupal 10, sure you will have all the modules in Drupal 9. So you can go and check it. So I am using some few modules which I manually enable for this upgrade process. So I, I just ran for Drupal 10. So I had most all the compatibilities with the Drupal 10. So I didn't go for Drupal 9. So here you can see uh, admin toolbar module I'm using. So that is replaced with admin toolbar. So admin menu is replaced with admin toolbar. C tools, it's in core now. Date field is also in core. Devil, it's there. Entity is moved to core. Field collection, we have a replacement of paragraph module. Link, so you can see path auto is available. Redirect is available. Token is available. Views is available. So what I have done is that I have created a sheet. In that sheet, I just mentioned Drupal 7 module names. Is this available for Drupal 10 or not? So if it is available, what is the name of that module? So here you can see it's admin toolbar, uh, admin menu, and here you can see it's admin toolbar. So field collection paragraph. So I mentioned the name here. So if you want to add the link here, you, want, you can add those. So once that is done, here you can see I added all the values. So when you uh, encounter any country model and which is not upgraded to Drupal 8, 9 or 10. So you if you can port that module, you can port it. Or if you are using any country module and you will not be using most of the feature on that module. If you are using very particular feature, you can create that particular feature alone in your custom module or else you have to uh, port complete module if you are using most of the feature from that contrib module. So that is the first one. And then, <clears throat> so when you don't have that uh, Drupal uh, compatibility for the contrib module for your, which version you are going to upgrade, you have to do it manually porting or the particular feature you can develop in your custom module. So that's it about the contrib module. When it comes to custom module, so whatever you have written in your custom module, you have to manually write the code. And whatever features you are having, like if you are creating a uh, hook in it, if you created, you have to use even subscriber in your Drupal 10 version. So make sure you are updating all the code based upon the Drupal 10 uh, version. Once you created all the custom module, you will be able to migrate your Drupal instance from 7 to 10. Okay. So, yeah. And then anyway, we are not going to do anything with the Drupal 7 version, but it always good to take backup of your 
Drupal 7 version and files. Okay, these are the steps you have to follow before upgrading your Drupal from 7 to any other version. In next video, I will tell you how to migrate your uh, Drupal 7 version to Drupal. Here I am going to do for Drupal 10. If in your case it might be 8 or 9 or 10, it can be. So I will ex I will post that video as soon as possible. And that's it. So that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.